In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started editing your first portrait inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So to begin, just have a portrait selected that you want to edit, and then head into the edit module. You can do that by either going up to this icon here and clicking on it. You can click and hold on to it, and then go into develop. Or you can simply hit D on your keyboard. And now we're in the edit module inside of the develop tab. And this is where we're going to apply different tone and color adjustments to our shot. But before we start editing, I just want to remind everyone that all of the edits used inside On One Photo Raw 2019 are all non-destructive and can be re-edited at any time. All of the edits that you do to your photo are all automatically saved within a sidecar file or in the database of the software so that you actually don't have to save anything. There are no save as or save buttons within Photo Raw. Everything is saved automatically for you within the sidecar files or on the database. So now let's get started editing. And you'll notice over here that we have this toolbar to the left of our screen. This has different tools that we can use to modify our shot. The first thing I want to do to this photo is I want to crop it. So I'm just going to go into my crop tool here, which I can access by clicking on it, or I can simply hit C on my keyboard. And you'll notice once I hit that crop tool there, that right up top, we have an options menu that allows us to modify our tool. So whatever tool we have selected here, this top area is going to give us modifiers that we can use to adjust that tool. So now if I want to modify this crop tool, I can choose a preset crop ratio from this drop down menu here. I'm going to go with a 4x5 for this photo, but I can always use this width and height to change it customizably. If I want to level my photo, I can use this level tool, and then to rotate, I can use these arrows. Let me just head down and I'll hold shift and I'll pull in on the corners a little bit to remove any excess from my photo. I'm just going to leave a little bit of her shoulder there. And then once I'm done, I can just hit enter. Let's move on to the right side of our screen inside of this develop tab. This is where we're going to be doing the majority of our editing. Inside of the develop tab, we have tone and color, which is where we're going to be modifying the base look of our shot using different sliders such as exposure, contrast, and temperature. And then below that, we have details, which is where we're going to be modifying the sharpening and noise reduction. We then have lens correction, which will automatically apply a lens correction for you. And then we have transform, which you can use to modify the crop of your photo. Let's head back into tone and color and start modifying our base look. And because this photo is a little underexposed, I'm just going to head down to my exposure slider here and I'm going to pull up on it to add a little more brightness to my shot. Then I'm going to pull down on the contrast to kind of soften up the mood a little bit. Then I'm going to pull up on my highlights to bring a little bit more highlights into my shot. Then I'll add some midtones, some shadows a little bit. And then I'm going to pull back on my black slider here. And while doing that, I'm going to hold down my J key and pull back on it until I see a little bit of blue in my photo. And that blue right there is showing me all of my true black without any detail. And it's always nice to add in a little bit of true black, especially if you've pulled down on the contrast, because it adds some contrast back in and makes your photo pop a little bit more. And now that we've set the basic tonality for our photo using these sliders, let's head down to our color area and set the white balance. To do that, I'm just going to grab this color dropper here, and I'm going to drop it on a white area on the shot. There we go. Now I've brought back some of that warm color that was there when the shot was taken. So now that we've set the basic tonality for our photo using the tone and color pane, let's retouch this photo a little bit. And to retouch, the best tool for the job would be the retouch brush. To access the retouch brush, simply head back over to this tool pane over here and it lives inside this fix icon here. And the retouch brush is going to live right in the middle area here, and it's going to be this band-aid icon. To grab it, you can click on it, or you can simply hit R on your keyboard. So now to retouch, I'm just gonna head over to my navigation section, and I'm gonna click on 100 to zoom into 100%. And now that I've zoomed in, I'm gonna hold down on my space bar, and now I can click and drag and move her face around to retouch it better. And now I can remove any imperfections or blemishes that are on her face.
There we go. Now that we've retouched our photo a little bit, now we can zoom back out to fit the view. So now that we've retouched our photo and modified our basic tone and color, let's head down into the portrait tab here where we can smooth skin and edit our portrait even more. Once you click on the portrait tab, it's going to automatically detect any face in your photo and create a mask for you. So if we go into our masking options here and we view this mask, you'll see it automatically detected her face and created a mask for us. So now let's say we want to add some skin smoothing and maybe a little bit more blemish removal. We can head down to the skin option here. We can click on it to turn it on. And now we can play with these sliders in here, such as the blemish slider, the smoothing slider, and the shine slider to add in any skin smoothing or blemish removal that we want. Now if we turn this off and on, you'll see it does a great job of adding skin smoothing to our shot and removing any more blemishes. Now let's say we want to add some whitening or detail to our eyes. We can head down to this eyes option, turn it on, and now we just click in the center of our eyes. And now we can just play with the parameters of them. Just like that. And now if we head back to our filter here, we can add or remove whitening. And we can also apply some detail. There we go. And now let's say we want to add some vibrance to our lips. We can turn on this mouth option. We can click on the sides of our mouth. Modify the overlay. And then we can just head to this vibrance slider and add some color to our lips. There we go. So now let's turn this off and on. And you'll see we did a lot of retouching in not a lot of time simply by using this portrait filter with the mask already applied for us. Now let's head into the effects tab to add some different effects and finish this photo. So let's add a filter here. And I'm just going to add a LUTs filter. And I really like this preset style that's already applied, the color pop and the blues. So let's turn this off and on. And you'll see it applies a nice bit of style to our photo. Let's add one last filter to top it off. And we'll add a vignette. And we'll just use Big Softy here. And now I'm just going to head down into this area, grab my centering tool. And I'm just going to move my vignette to the center of her face. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you'll see we did a good job modifying our base tone and color, as well as retouching and adding style inside of effects. I'm Dylan with On One, and thanks for watching.